morning, everybody. How are you? Quite a crew. Uh, two months ago, shortly after our digital vendor, who conducts modeling for our campaign, told us that there was a failure in the firewall that prevents campaigns from seeing one another's data, we contacted the DNC and told them about this failure. We were very concerned that our data had been compromised, and we were assured at that time that the firewall between the campaign's data would be restored. We are, we are actually very confident that at that time some of our data was lost to one of the other campaigns. Instead, we found out two days ago that once again, this sensitive and important data was compromised because the DNC and its vendor failed to protect it. We have invested enormous campaign resources in acquiring the rights to use this proprietary data. But the DNC, in an inappropriate overreaction, has denied us access to our very own data. This is data collected by hundreds of thousands of volunteers across America. This database for our campaign is funded by the over two million contributions that this campaign has received from people all across the country. Let me briefly discuss three issues involved in this matter. First, as I pointed out earlier, this is not the first time that the vendor hired by the DNC and the DNC to run the voter file program, NGP Van, has allowed serious failures to occur. On more than one occasion, they have dropped the firewall between the data of competing Democratic campaigns. This is dangerous incompetence. It was our campaign months ago that alerted the DNC to the fact that the campaign data was being made available to other campaigns. At that time, our campaign did not run to the media, relying instead on assurances from the vendor that the problem would be resolved. Unfortunately, the other day, the vendor once again dropped the firewall between the campaigns for some data. Secondly, after discussion with the DNC, it became clear that some of our staffers irresponsibly accessed some of the data from another campaign. That behavior is unacceptable to the Sanders campaign, and we fired the staffer immediately and made certain that any information obtained was not utilized. We are now speaking to other staffers who might have been involved and further disciplinary action may follow. Clearly, while the information was made available to our campaign because of the incompetence of the vendor, it should not have been looked at, period. Third, rather incredibly, the leadership of the DNC has used this incident to shut down our ability to access our own information, information which is the lifeblood of this campaign. This is the information about our supporters, our volunteers, the lists of people we intend to contact in Iowa, New Hampshire, and elsewhere. This is information we have worked hard to obtain. As I mentioned before, this is information gathered by our volunteers across the country, funded by the over two million individual contributions we received online. It is our information and the information of all of these volunteers and the people who support our campaign, not the DNCs. In other words, by their action, the leadership of the Democratic National Committee is now actively attempting to undermine our campaign. This is unacceptable. Individual leaders of the DNC can support Hillary Clinton in any way they want, but they are not going to sabotage our campaign, one of the strongest grassroots campaigns in modern history. We are announcing today that if the DNC continues to hold our data hostage, and continues to try to attack the heart and soul of our grassroots campaign, we will be in federal court this afternoon seeking immediate relief. What is required here is a full and independent audit of the DNC's mishandling of this data and its security from the beginning of this campaign to the present, including the incident in October that we alerted them to when we are fairly confident that large amounts of our data were sent to another campaign. Thank you very much. Uh, I, this is Brad Deutsch, who represents the campaign on our legal team, and I'm happy to answer any questions that people might have. Can you assure the DNC and the Clinton campaign that you no longer possess any of the Clinton campaign's data? I can tell you that this campaign, in an official capacity, does not possess any data, does not retain any data, doesn't want any of their data. In fact, when their data, due to this October breach, was dumped into the, a vendor of ours's computer system, we had it isolated, locked up, and we alerted the DNC Im immediately. We are running a clean campaign. We're going to beat Secretary Clinton and everybody else in this campaign on the issues. We don't need dirty tricks. That's not how we run it here. Which campaign, which campaign, which campaign do you think had access to your data? 
Well, I think after this independent audit, we will find that out. Look, we are investigating that. One of the ironies of this situation is because the DNC has inappropriately cut us off from access to the van, the voter uh, network, it makes it impossible for us to do any kind of independent review of who looked at what during that time period. So what we did is we immediately froze the email accounts of all employees we suspected were involved. Uh, we reviewed all of their emails and Google documents. We restored any documents or, or uh, emails that they had deleted during the relevant time periods and have reviewed them all and the investigation internally is ongoing. Uh, you know, in the, in the heat of these campaigns, sometimes young people make misjudgments. How do you know right? that data wasn't used? Because I manage this campaign. I know data is being used. Was anything downloaded? Uh, nothing was, nothing was uh, no data that I'm aware of uh, was uh, exported in a way that could be used by anybody. Uh, NGP issued an after action report which said that no, none of these uh, reports were printed and none of them were exported. So I'm relying on NGP and I have to rely on them, unfortunately. The DNC's monopoly vendor has sole access to this information uh, because we've been cut off from it. So whatever you're hearing from them, you're getting their side of the story and has not been verified by us. And that's why we look forward to a full independent audit of the DNC's handling of data going forward. Look, th 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 this is taking our campaign hostage. We have a grassroots campaign, right? So when we have uh, people come to our campaign headquarters to call volunteers or to call voters to talk to them about Bernie Sanders' campaign to transform America, we can't generate phone numbers to do that. It's impossible to mobilize the kind of grassroots we ca campaign we have without access to that data. And we are, because of the nature of our campaign, peculiarly affected by this type of taking of data hostage by the DNC. It does not make it impossible to win because I think people across this country, and I think we're beginning to see it now already online, are outraged by this conduct by the DNC, which is clearly a heavy-handed attempt to undermine this campaign. Has the, the DNC, DNC given any indication how long they plan to freeze your access to their data? To our data. How long they're going to freeze, freeze our access to our own data? They have not. And that's why we're going to have to go to federal court if this is not resolved very, very shortly to vindicate the rights not only of this campaign, but of the millions of people across this country who want change. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Well, as I, as I mentioned, uh, you know, we are doing an internal investigation. Um, further disciplinary action may come, depending on what we find, but the truth is, is that our ability to investigate this has been inhibited by our inability to look at the van uh, that we've, that's been withheld from us. So the DNC is, the DNC is, uh, by their own action, is hindering our ability to do the kind of investigation that they say that they want. Your former staffer says he wasn't trying to collect data on the campaign. He was trying to probe the extent of uh, this vulnerability. Is it possible you overreacting and firing? We have very, very high ethical standards in this campaign, right? Bernie Sanders is a different kind of candidate. We're running a campaign to transform America. So people who, are, who work on this campaign have to understand that even the appearance of something that's not right is too much. And so we did let that staffer go. I think that was a clear signal that we take this very, very seriously, both with respect to our data and other people's data. We will certainly not use anybody else's data or retain anybody else's data. Uh, the, the DNC is clearly acting in a heavy-handed way, uh, in an unprecedented way. I would like to see another instance where a presidential campaign uh, had their data withheld, their own data withheld under, under similar circumstances. So, excuse me? Two months ago, we found out when we were downloading some of our data that it was dumping a bunch of other campaigns' data along with ours, which clearly indicated that the firewall between the campaigns was ineffective, right? We immediately segregated that information at the, our vendor, put it in a, put it in a uh, password protected file. Uh, so that we could document that, in fact, there had been a breach because we were very concerned that large amounts of our own data was being downloaded, and we contacted the DNC to remedy the situation. They assured us, we didn't run down here to all of you all, we, we, we talked to them, and we, that we were assured that this was going to be taken care of. But apparently, they are not competent in terms of maintaining the security of data between the campaigns. Is the national Democrats taking sides with the Clinton campaign, Jeff? What's that? Is the, Clinton, is the DNC taking sides with the Clinton campaign? 
Sure, all I, all, look, all I can tell you, I don't know the motivation of every single person over the DNC, but I think if you look at a pattern of conduct, we've obviously had concern about the, uh, you know, the Saturday night debate schedule and its impact on the ability of campaigns to get their message out. Um, clearly there's, a, a, in this case, it looks like they are trying to help uh, the Clinton campaign. Uh, you know, we're taking on the establishment, and I'm sure there are people within the Democratic establishment who are not happy about the uh, overwhelming success that Senator Sanders is having all across this country. But we are determined to win this campaign, and we're going to win this campaign by talking about the issues uh, that are important to the American people. To do that, we need our data, which has been stolen by the DNC. That's what we want back. Thank you all. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.